All right, Audi Q3, supposedly Quattro. Not really. Kind of spins all the time. The front wheel's very, very annoying with this Halidex system, this fake Quattro. And you know what? All Quattros in general, I'm sorry. Like past really 2005, everything became nonsense with this 60-40 split. I don't want that. This particular one has summer tires. It has the 20s on it, so it looks like the baby Q3. It's got those Q8 wheels. Uh, what did I say? Q3? Q8. Baby Q8. I don't know what I said. But, um, yeah, it's uh, kind of sucky, the fact that, you know, it just doesn't have, let's see. This is like Rocky. I don't know. Whatever. I've been in this lot before. Did they shut off the snow already? Let me see. Yeah, they did. They shut the snow off. Yep, they sure did. They shut the snow down already. Because they were making snow this morning. You know, it is, uh, you know, it's gonna, you know, it's gonna happen. I'm gonna kick up rocks and stuff in here. Actually, it's still got nice grip with, uh, the summer tires. I mean, I'm on full summer tires here that it came with. It's still digging up, so. I mean, Quattro can be amazing if it's a real Quattro, but I'll tell you right now, it, it really annoys me the fact that this car constantly freaking spins the front wheels. And I'm not even trying to do anything in a lot of situations, and it's really annoying to me. And I saw a lot of tests of uh, people doing tests where they're off-road, and they're like, wow, it's amazing. I, I Oh, yeah, it's like... Uh, milliseconds and then the uh if the if the front wheels detect spinach it will go to the back and stuff like that because this is really front wheel drive and that's not the case you know i hate these liars they're not real quattro drivers they probably never drove a quattro so they have no idea i mean any day of the week i'll take the s4 50 50 when it comes to the you know the diff splits of the where quattro is put down on the b5 it's just amazing but this crap, it's its really bad. It's, it's a shame. It really is. I love this car, but I would really like to keep it in the all-wheel drive. I had the e-tron, and the e-tron, if I was to get the update on the 2019, the Edition 1, what would have happened was they would have shut off the front motor unless it was needed, you know, in milliseconds it will come on. Yeah, that's BS too. So that would have ruined the car. I never did the update. I didn't care about the extra 10 whole miles it would have gotten. The reason why I buy an Audi is for Quattro. I don't care about the gas mileage. I care about putting power down to the ground, whether it's wet, dry, snowy conditions, you name it. That, that's just the fact. You know, the crazy thing is, this Mercedes here that I have, right? This W163, uh, was this 02, 03? Yeah, 03, ML350. I believe that's 50-50, this truck. Now, if this truck's got 50-50, you know what I mean? Back then, I mean, of course, all Audis back then were 50-50 also, but now it's just like, come on, guys, stop with the rear-wheel drive, all this stuff. I don't know. It just doesn't make any sense to me. Car hater.